Yeah, man. Hey man, it's the American Holocaust, man. Every time I think about the Holocaust, man, I think it's time to try, but man, can you dig it, man? To your feet, we be dripping gold. Dripping gold. KTC, that means keep the cold. Keep the cold. KFC, we do that no more. No more. Cherokee, like the days of old. Days of old. Vaccinate, we just tell them no. Tell them no. We the copper car original. Original. Press the job, he been here before. Here before. Hosea 3, we already know. Yeah. Grand Canyon, they be hiding acres. Killing purple like my favorite Laker. KTC, that mean keep the code. Keep the code. Rest in peace, Kobe, he the go. Mama with the wings, that's a dragon. That's a dragon. Used to bell up with my pants sagging. Now we redefining high fashion. Got that glow for whoever's asking. Chicken model on your favorite corner. Need that work, we your favorite donor. Mim sauce to your front door. Front door. Make them holler, we don't want no more. Dropping up is our only option. For the con, we go get it poppin'. KTC, that mean keep the code. Code keep us here from head to toe. Hey, go. Last chance is you friend to phone. Cause we hijack free, we'll sink your bones. Zuni complex rapping, how we cool. How we cool. That's the by Nico shook, these noggin shoot. KTC, you know how we do. Put our power first, we'll never lose. Purple tears of joy, I love you. Purple crying, cuz red is blue. And I put it on the AI. MHO E take it off. Yeah, we drippin' in that mem song. We paid the cost, now we beat the ball. Drop up music, we just let them know. KTC, that means keep the code. Keep the code. Tribal mafia, they gon' stoop. Getting smarter cause the drop is fluid. Fire started just to light it up. Light it up. The coops they died, trying to try them up. Trib up. Slit that treaty through the back door. Peace and friendship made it more and more. Grab my shield, wouldn't hesitate. While they argue heritage or hate. USA, call it Hijack City. Hijack City. PSA, you ain't fucking with me. Oh. OG Naga from the day of old. Day of old. KTC, that mean keep the code. Keep the code. Swan Knight, I'm a bravo. Bravo. That was back in 774. Oh, no. For bitten histories, we got the book. Got the book. MHOE, we got the look. MHOE. Bye bye, smile, drinking hot water. Bye bye. Now we can all say hello. Hello. KTC, that mean keep the code. Keep the code. Enjoy Shabbat, chillin' in my row. In my row. That's Clam Ross at your front door. Front door. You gonna pay your way and ask that go. Montezuma for the free throw. Free throw. Nipsey hustle, let the wings grow. Wings grow. He gon' hit us with that free flow. Free flow. He can crunch y'all in that green low. Green low. Hit the switches for the free show. Free show. Carpet chickens in the street pro. Street pro. Four three two, we the free show. Free show. KTC, that mean keep the code. Keep the code. KTC, that mean keep the code. Keep the code. KTC, keep the code. Keep the code. KTC, keep the code. Keep the code. KTC, keep the code. Keep the code. You hit your mark today, man. Code Keeper. Hey, shout out to Tribal Mafia, man. Shout out, man, to everybody bumping that tribe up music, man. Sharing the playlist available at Five Eyes Ma. Hit up Five Eyes Ma on YouTube, man. And he got all the drop, man. And building our uh, SoundCloud up. We're going to put it on the site as well for y'all. We're catching up. You know, you see us working, man. You see we're doing one thing at a time. Hitting the goals, man. Shout out to Hidden Goals, man. Love to the bro. You know what I'm saying? Yo, Seth and the family, man. You know what I'm saying? Aquador, the droplets, man. They just been inspiring us, you know, with their bounce back game, man. To be able to bounce back and have the tribe that got they back, you know, got their mem sauce flowing. So, a lot of while, you know what I'm saying? For the opportunity, man, just to have these moments, man. Have these mushy moments where we as a tribe can come together. You know what I'm saying? 500 coat keeping nuggets can come together and just get the job done. 
And now we able to spread that Baruch, man, and Aqua, Miss D, Ahab to Aqua, Miss D. She's been able to get, you know, some good Baruch as well, man. And, you know, we're going to keep that Baruch going. You know what I'm saying? Everything you're giving, we're just going to keep that Baruch spread, man. Keep spreading it out. Starting right there with the families that's been hit, you know, recently with that horrible storm in Texas, man. So, you know, hopefully, uh, you know, nothing, nothing like that happens again, you know, anytime soon. But if it do, we want to make sure our family at least got some, you know what I'm saying, repairs and things, you know what I'm saying, to fortify their uh, kingdom, you know what I'm saying, fortify their house. So, you know, we love y'all. It's all happening, man. It's tribal mafia, man. And let's fall back, man. Let's get to some Zan Zan. So we can get into this American Holocaust, man. Shout out to the entire Ether squad. Everybody dropping that drop, taking the wheel, doing it for the tribe. That's what we do it for, man. To have a place that, you know what I'm saying, our people could come, get the tribe up music. They can just fall back in the water. They can get that zan zan. They can get some great, you know what I'm saying, info, some great, you know what I'm saying, um, investigation keys, you know, through these, you know, books and stuff, man. And, other than that, you know, what else you want from us, man? You know what I'm saying? It's all happening. And it's all happening because of you. Shout out to the Dragons on the Wall, the sponsors, the Dragon sponsors at 432 to drop radio, Copper Dragon, Copper Dragon, Silver Dragon, Gold Dragon sponsors, man. Um, you know, just being a dragon on the wall to us, it's like, you know, same thing as an angel on the wall. You know, Dragons are angels, man. And uh, you are giving us a guardian frequency. That we can, you know, have something to, you know, increase and increase, you know what I'm saying? So we need more dragons on the wall, you know what I mean? So that we can increase what we got, you know what I mean? Have have our flow coming in that we're able to, you know what I'm saying, divide for our tribe that's breaking it down in the ether every single day to y'all. It's something real special to me personally, man, to break bread with the tribe, man. So the water for allowing us to be in that position, man, that we can spread our flow and have us grow together, and, you know what I'm saying, work together. You know, the whole point is to work together. We got our, our heart on our land, man. And it's going to be a beautiful, you know, Baruch Pasak coming up, man. Shout out to everyone popping off their Baruch Pasak. You know what I'm saying? And just, just be in the right flow of redemption, man. Don't be all weighed down by everything throughout the year. But now you be in a redemptive flow, man. Find your Zion Zion, man. You know, get that, uh, get that peace that you really, you know, want, man. Just bring it out from inside of you because it's been... You know, hiding inside there, you know, hitting, you know, crouching tiger, hitting dragon on you, man. It's been the dragon been in you the whole time, man. The dragon got the peace. The dragon got the peace. So let's get it. We're in American Holocaust fall back. Get the Zion and uh, let's pick it up on page 33. A book by David E. Stannard. And uh, allow a while you've been patient with the wheel. I'm letting it be framed in shape. I ain't rushing it. I'm starting to see what it is, you know what I'm saying? And then we'll put everything in the proper place for you. And then from there, it should be, you know, uh, a Zan Zan flow, you know, right here at TDR. So, you know, we're just uh, letting it all happen, man. You know, letting the creator do it and not rushing it. Because when you got it, you ain't got to rush it. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to my pops, man. Rest in power. You know, Michael Andrews, man. You know what I'm saying? He always told me, man, when you, when you got it, you know, you ain't got to rush it. No matter if it happens when you're 20 or it happens when you're 40 or it happens when you're 60 or it happens when you're 80. You know what I'm saying? It's happening. It's all happening, you know? So, you know, rest in power pops for that. Let's go, man. Zan, Zan. Wow. KTC, that mean keep the code. Keeping the cold, cold keepers, because, you know, American Holocaust is all about the cold. Deuteronomy 28 is all about keeping the cold and not keeping the cold. Keeping the cold got to seem clearly to where we can pinpoint these areas like, you know, the Chickamauga, the militant, fierce and violent ones, the dragons on the wall. Everybody wants to claim, you know, greatness, but ain't no one talking chicken mob. Everybody wants to be royal, but ain't no one talking press the job. Everybody wants a Mashiach, but ain't nobody talking Dawi. 
Everybody wants wisdom, man. But ain't nobody talking ama. You know, when you hit that mark, when you hit that, uh, you know, the cross is, is all about those intersections. The intersections are the points that are collapsed when you observe something, anything, right? The problem is that we've been observing through their eyes, through the eyes of our invaders, TV and social media. The images, images, images. Controlling us with images because they got us wanting things that are not us. Through those things we want are going to hit us, get us to our mark. And if we don't hit our mark, then we are perpetual slaves. Each mark that's being hit, each intersection of those two cross sticks, is all happening. Don't you get it, man? Quantum, right? All those marks are being hit, y'all. Call it a, you know, simulation, <laughs> you know, call it a, a paradigm. Managa, we are energy. We're all connected. There's no separation between us or anything. So when we call a lifetime or a world, it's all happening on all levels, man. All those intersecting lines, all possibilities are at play at all time. I don't care if you say, well, what about 70 years from now? 70 years from now, it's happening now. 70 years ago, it's happening right now. It's all happening. Everything. Everything. All points of the timeline. All your chronology. All your dynasties. We're tuning up and tapping in to a frequency that is alive, man. To a frequency that's happening right now. That you can control in code. No matter what time they say it is. It's all time. We don't need to mark things the way they do. We just need to observe. Observe what? The code. Observe our feast days. Man, right? Baruch Pesach. <laughs> Is observing these things, you know, keep us in code, KTC. When we're in code, you know, we have these observations and we're collapsing the wave pattern of all these possibilities, all these marks, all these intersecting lines. We're collapsing that on the one particular possibility that we all want, man. How can we all want it if we're not Thinking as one, right? Okay. You know, KTC, the code, man, keeping the code, got us one and the same thing. What is the thing you want? Because when you meditate on the code and you're one with the code, then now we do all want the same thing. I'm not saying houses and cars and this and that. I'm saying we don't have to want all the same things, right? But you want. At the base of your foundation, our wants, our needs have to be the same, right? So you can only observe that with code, with a code. To collapse it on that possibility of paradise that we're all looking for. Specifically, when we observe the code, we all become the code and we want the same thing, which is what? Not to ever be hijacked. Not to ever... You know, have no power coming in between us and our creator, Hawa. You know, we want to have a existence that's not taken in vanity, right? Don't take the creator's name in vain. You don't want the vanity. The name is, the word is, the existence itself. Your secure breath, if you take the creator's name in vain, you're taking your own secure breath in vain. You know what it means to have vanity on your breath man you want to take that uh <laughs> rochambeau man you want to gamble with that 
So we want the same thing, huh? We observe the code. We want the same thing. We want to have a name that's not taken in vain, right? We don't want a vain breath of security. We want an actual secure breath for our families forever, right? We want a direct connection with Hawa forever, huh? We want to keep our Shabbat forever because that's our, you know, moment of remembrance of our unity. We have a remembrance of our unity when it comes to our Shabbat. And now again, you know what I'm saying? We want the same things, not to kill, you know, not to murder. We want that. We want that when we're one with the code. Not to steal and on and on, right? So not to covet, bear false witness, be adulterers in the heart or otherwise, right? Be non covetous huh? To always honor Abba Amma, huh? This code is you, my nagi. It ain't separate from you. KTC. That means keep the code. Keep yourself. Stop making vanity out of yourself. We do that, we can collapse the wave pattern. And that's what we're doing right now. Because, you know, you can fall back and let it all be happening, but it ain't going to be no fun if you ain't able to connect to any of those possibilities. <laughs> so at some point, you're going to have to choose. All right, it's all happening, but, you know, what do I want to experience, right? If I said it's all happening, uh, you know, in... In your backyard, you know what I'm saying? It could be snakes in your backyard, rat, rats, roaches, or it could be a party, right? It could be a party going on, you know what I'm saying? But that party could be all happening, different people, like it could be crazy, right? So it's all happening. You have to observe to collapse the wave pattern, my nothing. It don't get no deeper than this in quantum, in the world of science, my nothing. It don't get no deeper than quantum. And then the heart of quantum is the double slit experiment. Look it up. Get the drop. The particle knows when it's being observed and behaves differently. Once it's being observed, it now chooses a possibility. When it's not being observed, that particle is hitting. It's hitting. It's all happening, right? It's 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 forming the entire wave pattern. You are particles, con. Atoms. What's an atom? Particles, con. Electrons, neutrons, proton. Everything's made up of this stuff, right? So the, whether you're talking electron or proton or neutron, no matter the particle, it knows when it's being watched, man. It knows when it's being observed. It knows when you're observing the code. That means that everything that the that is the building block of reality changes once you're observing it. So if they're controlling your observation and they're controlling your reality, now they're collapsing the wave pattern. They got their own X mark the spot. That X on the Confederate flag is representing a whole nother mark, a whole nother possibility. Not your paradise, but your fall, your hell, right? That mark is now giving you that torment and hatred and you're charged up. Because of the hell that that mark represents. But what mark do does your original covenant represent? What mark do you represent? What mark does the code represent? According to Deuteronomy 28. You'll be the head, not the tail. Everything's good in the city. Outside the city. You ball and you straight. It's all happening. Well, you know, it's all happening, you know, in a good in the goods, right? So <laughs> that's what we talking about. Hey man, it's all happening, man. Like when I say it's all happening, I'm thinking about all the good. I'm thinking about all the connections, you know what I'm saying? The connections, you know what I'm saying, spiraling up. You know, even though we know that it's it can be all happening the other way, but because I'm keeping the code, when I say it's all happening, I know that the possibilities for me, for us, are beautiful. Because those possibilities are all happening. It don't mean that you don't have to go through whatever static fields. As, an, as a people, I can feel when we're coming up out of one. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you 
You know, oh, man, it's a beautiful thing, man. And you can feel it like, you know, my people feel a little heavy right now. I know they're all going through things, but I know that Hawa gives us hope and we give our people hope. And, you know, that's a beautiful uh, flow of the mem, man. <laughs> that is that mem sauce, man. M-H-O-E. K-T-C. Drop Nation. Let go, man. We are in the American Holocaust. Page 33, fall back. Actually, we're going to get it from uh, page 52. You can get the full PDF in the drop, drop, chatter, chat, 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 chat. I mean, <laughs> the uh, drop library. <laughs> drop library at 432 to drop. Dot com and let's go. And these were more than ceremonial, more than passing generosities. Indeed, without the assistance of the Indians and in everything from donated food supplies to instruction in the ways of hunting and fishing and farming, the earliest European settlements pro particularly in North America, could not have taken root. Man, ain't that, I mean, every time I read that in different, you know, variations, it comes down to the same thing, man. Without help, they wouldn't have made it. And it gets even more specific, you know what I'm saying, when it comes to the treaties of uh, peace and friendship, man. And uh, they had help, man, right in the middle of the Chickamauga War, man. There's not really nothing you can say to that. You know, when you're caught cheating red-handed, <laughs> what are you going to say? Uh, it's not what it looks like. It's exactly what it looks like. Because you can't have it both ways. You can't say that we the Nuggets found here and, <laughs> and then say, oh, that that's not us. Those Cherokees, not us. And then claim every other part of indigenous culture. Like, nah, you know that's us, man. You know, these meetings going down to tribe up and, you know, the vibration of, you know, backing out the, you know, backing out the battle right, you know, right in the fourth quarter, man. So, yeah, they, they couldn't have taken root without our help, but specifically, you know, what I'm saying without the help of the Confederate tribes that were Confederate Psalms 83 against you and me. I'm going to pick it up from right here. It says, uh, as Edmund Morgan has shown with regard to Roanoke, Roanoke, R-O-A-N-A-O-K-E in the 1580s. Wing Gina, the local chief, welcomed the visitors. All right, so we got a local chief named Wing Gina, R-W-I-N-G-I-N-A. Wing, huh, Wing, huh? And the Indians gave freely of their supplies to the English who had lost most of their own when the Tiger, T-Y-G-E-R, their ship grounded by the time the colonists, the invaders keep saying colonists, pilgrims and colonists. Now, nah, man, this is an invasion 101. It was too late to plant corn and they seemed to have been helpless when it came to living off the land. They did not know the herbs and roots and berries of the country. They could not or would not catch fish in any quantity because they did not know how to make weirs. W-E-I-R-S. And when the Indians showed them, they were, they were slow learners. <laughs> so it's like training animals, huh? Okay. They were unable even to repair those that the Indians made for them, nor did they show any disposition for agriculture. Harriet admired the yields that the Indians got in growing maize at corn. But the English, the lack of seed, lack of skill, or lack of will, 
grew nothing for themselves. Man. So look, man. <laughs> I don't want you to overlook the fact that these people did not know how to do anything, right? If you were to drop these indigenous people off, let's say, in Africa or in Scotland, even with the soil is different and they had to relearn, you know what I'm saying, you know, certain things about the planting seasons and stuff, but they at least knew how to do it. All you got to do is just kind of, you know, show them the ropes a little bit and they, they'll be good, right? These people, even after they, after they had people teaching them, still couldn't figure it out, man. And the agriculture wouldn't even grow for them. And why wouldn't he even sprout that seed for them, my nigga? I want you to think about what kind of people these are. Who is coming over here that can't do nothing for themselves like, like little animals? They walk around tall and proud today. They put the suits on. They got all these monies. How'd they get all that, right? We know, we know right now already about the swarthy Europeans. So we ain't, we ain't just talking about, you know, so-called white people, right? We're talking about people that are looking like us, man. It's all happening, right? So they grew nothing for themselves, even when the new planting season came around again. Superior English technology appeared for the moment, at least to be no technology at all. As far as food production was concerned. All right. That's a quote, man, from Edmund S. Morgan. From the 1580s. That English technology appeared to be no technology at all. Who are these people, right? Now, now, okay, if we're talking to English, and Benjamin Franklin is saying that the English are the principal body of whites, all right? English and the Saxons, according to the observations of mankind, 1751. So these English that make up the principal body of whites, right, that are very small in number, have no technology at all, can't plant nothing, can't figure it out, especially as far as food production was concerned. Now it says, indeed, Morgan later notes, quote, the Indians could have done the English could have done the English and simply by deserting them. They did not desert them. However, in that act they sealed their fate. Yeah. Between that and the treaties. So either it was our generosity or the treaties, right? Or the, you know, the backstabbing and the brother-on-brother -brother war, right? The same was true throughout the Americas. The cultural traits and the material achievements of the native people were turned against them once the European invasion began. Indian openness and generosity were met with European stealth and greed. Ritualized Indian warfare in which few people died in battle, was met with the European belief in devastating holy war. Vast stories of grain and other food supplies that Indian peoples had laid aside became the fuel that drove the Indians forward. And in that drive, they traveled quickly as they could not otherwise have done on native trails and roadways from the northeast and northwest coast to the dizzying heights of the Andes in Peru. Some who have written on these matters, such as one historian who recently has showed 
has shown how the Spanish conquest of Mexico was literally fed by the agricultural abundance of the Aztecs. Okay. Now, by now, you should be able to, you know, combine all your great recon, you know, from the forbidden histories and start connecting these tall texts and Sylvanus tall texts and, you know, why do they have such ingenuity, right? Why do these Aztecs go so deep? Because they go way back to this American empire of Kalelus that's all connected with Jerusalem right here, my doc. You know what I'm saying? The, the house of David right here, the land of Prester John, Antioch, and Quivera, the regnum right here. You know, everything's here. So, you know, that's not us making shit up, right? We They, they tell us Atlantis is over here, right? <laughs> so... You know, you got to sort this Atlantis frequency out. That becomes the more and more frequency because Atlantis was at war with Mu. So when they try to act like, oh, we're the Moor, so we're the Muin and we're the Atlantean, you can't have it all, man. It just don't work that way. You can't have all of America and all of Africa for those particular Confederate tribes. Like, that shit, like, where do, where they do that at, man? You're going you to claim both sides of every war? If you're rocking with Atlantis and you're moving with permission from the Pharaoh, then that's what you're doing, man. All right? If you're rocking with the sun god, if you're rocking with Estebanico, child of the sun, that's what you're doing, man. But see, we keep the code around here, man. And the code that we spiral up with goes back to the same principles that they was rocking with on Moo. But even that, you know, there's always some breakdown in the code and it has to be reestablished. And this time around, we want to do it. We want to do it for good, man. We want to do it forever. So Hawaii's been, Hawaii's been very patient with these slow learning, you know, Nagas, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> because we got to be slow learning. We're still trying to you know, figure out that rocking with the hijack just never has worked for you, man. You preserve the hijack, and to this day, you preserve the hijack. To this day, the hijack is preserved because of Nagas, man. Let that sink in. Because we don't have no leadership, no leader, because we don't got no discipline, because we ain't got no unity. They can do whatever they want with us. We're just divided. Our biggest, strongest men are on the football field, the basketball court, the baseball field, soccer field, like what you know. So they're busy making money and, and being millionaires, right? Everyone's distracted. The army is over here for Israel. You know what I'm saying? Our scientists are working for their companies. <laughs> Our most creative minds are writing TV shows pushed by their agendas and their images. Our best leaders are being hijacked into leading us right to destruction. You see how important it is to observe the code. None of these religions are giving us the code, man. They brushing it over, acting like they got a new code. New test got a new code. Oh, well, that's done away with. We got a new code. Man. A lot of work. Let's get a little more of this, man. You know, I'm I'm popping off with you, my night. Some who have written on these matters, such as the historians who have recently has shown how the Spanish conquest, remember swarthy Spaniards, right? Swarthy King Charles, Roman Emperor. Spanish conquest of Mexico was literally, literally fed by the abundance of the agricultural abundance that the Aztecs had created. 
have commented on the irony of Native achievements being turned against itself. Native achievement being turned against ourselves. Our technology turned against ourselves. Our intelligence turned against ourselves, my dog. Man. Perhaps the greatest and most tragic irony of all, however, was that the extraordinary good health, extraordinary good health of the native people, man. Hey, man, this is for a dismount, man. So why, oh, why are black people the face of the tenderoni? They found you in an extraordinary good health. You've been plagued with viruses and common colds and flus. And you've been plagued with the bubonic plague. You've been plagued with black death plague. You've been plagued smallpox with measles, with mumps, panaga. You've been plagued with the tenderoni. Have they have they stopped dumping viruses on your on you? Have you looked up lately? Have you stared in the sky, man? You see all that stuff, man. You see all that white stuff all over the place. That crisscross applesauce, man. That should be enough to piss you off, man. To say, how can I get out of this? I can't control those jets. I don't know what to call. I feel helpless. My naga, keep the cold. Collapse the wave pattern. X marks the spot. We will create reality, man. That's we're supposed to. We are masters, my not. The most ironic, tragic irony was that was the extraordinary good health of the Nagas, the native people throughout the Americas. Prior to the coming of the Europeans, will become a key ingredient in their disastrous undoing. Right. Because they found you in such good health, they were covetous of your health, and they had to create an interference pattern so you can't be in such a good health because nobody wants their enemies at an extraordinarily good health. They have to feed us Popeye's chicken. They have to feed us this bullshit. They have to poison us or else we will be by default like they found us here in extraordinary good health, my not. They don't want that. They don't want to find you in extraordinary, not ordinary good health, maybe. Extraordinary good health? Oh, no. Oh, no, boss. We can't have that. No, no, no. We need to hit the laboratory immediately. We need them lining up for it. Look at these nuggets today. But I do credit my nuggets because a lot of my nuggets is waking up and popping off too. So, you know, we in a race, you know what I'm saying, to wake up a nugget, you know what I'm saying, or else they getting in line, you know, for that poo sandwich, man. You know what I'm saying? For in the tens of thousands of years of isolation from the rest of Earth's population. Tens of thousands of years of isolation, man. You ever had one of those experiments, you know, where they show like you put this in isolation and, you know, you keep that pristine or whatever the case is, but not. I mean, we, we've been in solitary, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But in a good way, man, you know, separate. St. Christopher, the dog had it, broke that partition down, carried as Benico, uh Stephen Zamore uh, with him, you know what I'm saying? And it was on and popping with these swarthies, you know? All, on and up to the treaties of 1786. Chickamauga, Chickamauga. Chickamauga, spreading disease and filth. Now they want to act so clean. Oh, clean off everything. It might be infected. What? 
You've been infecting up the place the whole damn time. Now you need. You don't come from a from a pristine place. The hijack don't come from a pristine environment. What do they mean? Clean. What, what do you mean clean? What do you mean pristine? What do you mean? Oh, I hope I don't get sick. You come from that. You are that man. You're one with that. It's weird for us to be sick. Now you say, oh no, we all might get sick, guys. What the hell? What the fuck you think was going to happen? <laughs> when you showed up here. Not by accident, man. On purpose, you did this to us. To weaken your enemy. And you don't want us to know that we're your enemy now. If we call you our enemy, then we're on some threat list. You know, now, now, now we're some threatening now we're some fierce and violent dragons. When the person that you have been invading the whole time says, I feel threatened. You seem like you're an enemy. <gasps> you're a threat to us. You're on a threat list, pal. We're going to put you on a threat list, man. You want to threaten? You want to threaten us? Bullies, right? Bully tactics, right? Don't threaten the bully. Let the bully threaten you. Not threaten you. Let the bully torment you, right? Invade you. Search you out. Capture you. Vanquish you, right? Take your movable and immovable goods, my nigga. Take your lands, your islands, man. All your stuff, your things. My nigga, we want our things back. We don't want the substitute. We want our stuff. And until you want your stuff again, you know, maybe it won't snap into your, your mind bone that it's time to observe the cold collapse the wave pattern on paradise. This is the American Holocaust. Shalom to the cold keepers. Collapse the wave pattern, my nigga. X marks the spot. See what happens when we spiral up, right? KTC. Let me keep the code. Shut up. Walk. Say that grass is greener if you ain't got no green, it's problem They don't tell you how to solve them, or how much them problems cost them Put one foot in front of the other, keep going on some ball shit Like my granddad and my pa did, through the past is why I caught it From the heritage of ballers, but get you back your wallet they Say let's get them, then we got them, slay a hijack like a golem Came over here with your diseases, we was weaker when we fought them Terra Fuego getting hotter, Terra sock the holy water When it starts to snow in Texas, driving up just ain't no option Break them down, it's like we turbo, bring them together in one whole circle Kinda ain't no fucking Urkel, but I know red and blue make purple Taking it back to color Purple switch, yeah. Blake got Master Gurgle land, purple rain, purple plane. We eat the walk, they hurdle land. Like the music's all eternal, eat the squad is only learning. Choosing up is not a hobby, eat the packs is what we burn to. Ah, uh, eat the walk to this. Drive up, come walk with us. Eat the walk, come walk with this. Drop nation, come walk with us. Uh, uh. My tribe about to have a good day. All of them with me, all of them with me, eh? Hey. My tribe about to have a good day. All of them with me, all of them with me. Hey. It's quiet, war is silent. On the vaccine, on the virus, mask on, don't shoot. Swear to be waiting on niggas to ride. But these knockers, KTC, keeping the code and vibing higher. We ain't focused on the hijack. Better be focused on the diet. Living it well with brother nature, whipping it up just like a pilot. Son, cooking with the chef, kind of, but you better try. When that gas ignite the pilot, eat that walk and cut me fly. Then that fake space program, boy, you know that they some lies. Picking lock just like MacGyver, past the bubble gum and plies. And if knockers live matter, then the knockers won't be dying. Keeping the code ain't no religion, we call it the dragon. Flying mission. I'm just glad we saw the vision for all the homies and the chills. Either walking, either talking, either glowing, either spark. Ain't about who played the leader, all about who played it part. Running them down without a tracks, who gunning them down with tracks of truth. They want these butter and these guns, five eyes, we get them done while we. Ah, uh, eat the walk to this. Drive up, come walk with us. Eat the walk, come walk with this. Drop nation, come walk with us. Uh, uh. 
My trap about to have a good day. All of them with me, all of them with me, ayy. Hey. My trap about to have a good day. All of them with me, all of them with me, ayy. Hey. Trap of music. Trap of music. Yeah, man.